Another question, why should residents in older school areas have to pay taxes when the benefits only seem to be in the new schools? The equity is not the same. Walk into Carr, walk into Eversol, it's not the same. Um, as we've talked about a little bit tonight, uh, we're doing an awful lot of improvements. Um, of the 145 million, about 45 million is for a new building that will go in the Northwest Quadrant. There's 100 million or so that will be spent around the district. And when we look at our last couple years of even PI, I think we spent like $5.3 million in Scioto feeder pattern schools and 1.3 million in all of the other feeder pattern schools. So we really prioritize creating learning environments that are similar for all students. And I know, Jen, you were the principal at Indian Run when you went through a home makeover there. So you want to talk a little bit about what that means and, and how that impacts what we do? Exactly. Uh, Dr. Marshallson is right. We do have buildings that are quite old. Um, I was, um, not to make this about Jen's journey, but I was at Sells Middle School when the 1919 building was completely renovated and we built a connector that um, attached the previous cells with the 1990 building. And that's a building that's what, 104 years old now and is being actively used every day by eighth graders. So that's a hundred plus year old building. And then we have a building that's two years old. So that's what you get with a growing district. I was um, actually, I came into Indian Run at the tail end of, um, it, it was one of our oldest, it was our oldest elementary and it went through an entire renovation, gutted. Um, new drywall, new cubbies, new doors, everything new except really the cinder blocks. And this is a building that way back in the day held our um, central office. So what, what I think the community needs to understand is our buildings look different, but they're all very well cared for. They go through significant um, audits by, a, by firms that come in and say, okay, this is, this is something that's going to need replaced. It's good, coming up near end of life. And so we, we prioritize our facilities, but we also are, um, are adamant that we have all students, no matter whether they walk into a 100-year-old building or a two-year-old building, have excellent teachers, excellent resources, and access to equitable opportunities. As I was just saying earlier, we're adding a multi-use hitting facility so that students who go to those high schools have the same experience as a school that had one. So um, I also, in 1998, I was here when CAR opened. I was, um, I, I opened CAR along with about a hundred other people, but that building is now older, right? It's 24 years old and it's starting to need updates. The roof has some leaks. There's some problems with HVAC. And so we, we fix as much as we can and then we replace when we have to, just like we all would with our own homes. Thanks, Jen. The experience matters. Yeah. 